I had read about this guest house in Varanasi where people check in to die. It's called Kashi Lab Mukti Bhavan. Rooted in the belief system of many Hindus is that if you take your last breath in Kashi, you attain what is popularly known as fruit of Kashi or Kashi Lab, which is moksha or salvation. Now the interesting fact is that you're only allowed 2 weeks to stay in and die. So you have to be really sure if if you're still hanging around after 2 weeks you got to check out. So I was really curious and fascinated to understand what would those people have learned who have not only accepted death as a reality but are rather anticipating it with a timer on. So I went to Varanasi, spent a week in the guest house and interviewed people who had checked in. Phenomenal their life lessons were really thought provoking. So in the same environment I met Mr. Bhairav Nath Shukla who has been the manager of Mukti Bhavan for last 44 years. He has seen more than 12,000 deaths. So I asked him what have you learned after seeing both life and death at such close quarters? He shared with me 12 life lessons of which I wrote a blog post and it's read and shared by millions of people across the world and became highly popular. But there's one life lesson in that series which is Mr. Shukla's favorite and resonated deep with me and the life lesson is resolve all conflicts before you go. He told me a back story to it. There was a Sanskrit scholar of the times by the name of Ram Sagar Mishra. Mishra was one of the eldest of the six brothers and was closest to the youngest. One argument years ago led to this bitter communication between the brothers and led to a wall eventually partitioning the house. In his final years, Mishra checked into the guest house. with his little pan case and told shukla to reserve room number 3 for him because he was sure he is going to pass away on day 16th after his arrival on day 14th he said i want my estranged brother of 40 years to come and see me this bitterness heavies my heart i want to resolve every conflict before i go a letter was sent out on 16th day the brother arrived and mish held his hand and asked him to bring down the wall dividing the house he asked for his brother's forgiveness both brothers wept and mid sentence mish stopped speaking his face became calm and he was gone in a moment and i know that anecdote sounds straight out of a folk fiction novel but mr shukla told me that he has seen the same story replay over and over again with many different people who have come there He said to me Deepak I see so many people carrying such unnecessary baggage throughout their life only wanting to drop it at the very end of their journey The trick he said however lies in not having any conflict but resolving every conflict as soon as you have it You cannot and you should not go to bed having an argument a disappointment a resentment and doubt You should try to resolve it Because you see the good news is you are alive The bad news is no one knows for how long. So resolve your conflicts today. I hope this makes and fuels your day.